Hey, hi there, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly predictive reading for February 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. These are general meanings. Okay, Virgo, off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. And we will be using an oracle card from the deck Numerology by Michelle Buchanan. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. The Three of Pentacles, Virgo. Earth energy. This is a card of cooperation. It's using your skills. It's planning and mentoring. There may be critics around you that may be trying to help you grow. You're making plans. This is using a high set of standards. It's support from teamwork, synergy, it's employment. This is a lucky card. It's a lucky omen. It's a partnership card. You're building things together. It's a foundation being set in the early stages of progress. And now a project is beginning manifestation and you're using your knowledge and your skills to turn a profit. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Six of Swords, Virgo, air energy. This is a card of leaving your troubles behind. There's support. It's the calm after the storm. It can be a move or a journey, even a spiritual move, I mean journey. This is smooth sailing, and this change, this transition, it's going to go smoothly. It's relief at what you left behind, moving towards more peaceful times, being in a somber state and coasting along. It can be a move to a more pleasing environment. It's a release of tension and anxiety after a period of strain or confusion or something destructive. It's a mental shift, a calming of emotions, and now healing has begun. This is a vacation card. It's moving towards the unknown. It's standing strong in your own convictions. Working together. The Three of Pentacles with the Six of Swords, it's together we work towards a better future. And now your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're aware of. The Two of Cups, Virgo, Water Energy, really good card for partnerships. Partnerships, this can be an attraction. It can be a love soulmate card. This can be a very strong relationship, a marriage, a union. It's making plans with a kindred soul. There's a deep connection here equality and bonding. This can even be a business partnership or a, the beginning of a prosperous business partnership. It can also be a, a love affair. These are basic energies. They're important feelings and at times they can be in conflict with each other or complementary. You'll need to take note of your feelings and needs to make a decision and feel the joy in your soul when you're doing something for yourself or others. It's talking things over it can be letting go, it can be a reconciliation, and a reminder that shared joy is twice as sweet and shared sorrow is only half as bad. This is a shared bond where wishes and fears are intertwined. The Three of Pentacles with the Two of Cups, this is a coming together to make a solid foundation to work from. And now your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the results, the outcome and the resolution. And being in a future position, any time there's a prediction, it can be a surprise. The Four of Wands, Virgo, fire energy. This is a really good card. It's celebrations. It's reaching a milestone. It's parties. It's good times. You could be celebrating some kind of results, the completion of a stage. It's extremely positive and you'll get to enjoy life. You'll reap rewards. And now something new is soon coming. A happy time and success and being happy and productive. It's celebration and reward after labor and then the pause in the activities. 
and you get to rest. Could be a holiday coming, a time of relaxation, a foundation for creativity, a reward for a breakthrough. It's a level that is finished. It's celebrating, maybe graduating or marrying, enjoying festivities, reaping rewards. It has to do with teamwork and gratitude in your home, parties. It's marking a life transition with ceremony or ritual. It could have to do with property or land or a strong community. It can be putting down roots or moving in together, even celebrating a housewarming. This is the 1111 card portal and brings in a twin flame and a sense of stability. It can even be a run of luck. Three of Pentacles with the Four of Wands, this is feeling happiness. It's socializing with others and feeling at home. Maybe you should go out more often. And now the fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Number 18 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Moon. This can be a, pan, a Pisces or a Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Now this is a watery card represents the personal self, and it deals in the realm of imagination. Sleep and dreams can be intuition, deals with sub the subconscious and, the de and deception. There can be insecurity, unforeseen perils, because you're not seeing the path clearly ahead. It's fears and anxieties, but also fantasies. It's also psychic talent. These are feelings and responses to these feelings. You may be feeling moody or facing some emotional tests. This is the end of a major cycle, and things are, are still changing, but you're only seeing half of the information. You may be dreaming or fantasizing, behaving erratically, and discovering that not everything is as it seems. This can be a romance and communion of souls, and a metamorphosis within the self. Three of Pentacles with the Moon is try not to let insecurities prevent you from material goals or what your inner self wants. It can also represent night work. The Six of Swords with the Two of Cups is traveling for love. The Six of Swords with the Four of Wands is moving towards something to celebrate. You could be getting visitors or visiting a happy home. The Six of Swords with the Moon card, it's something is not clear. It's putting something on hold and make sure of any changes that you intend to make. Two of Cups with the Four of Wands is celebrating your relationship. It can also represent a reception. The Two of Cups with the Moon card, this can be a honeymoon. It's a dreamy stage of a relationship. There is a magnetic attraction here. It can also be infatuation. The Four of Wands with the Moon card can represent a night event. Also, on the outside you look stable, but on the inside you're feeling anxiety. Here's your advice from the Oracle card, Deck, Numerology, by Michelle Buchanan. You've got card number five, and it represents change. Card number five. This card indicates a time of expected and unexpected change, when anything can happen, and usually does. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to think of your life as an adventure, in which exciting opportunities could appear at any moment. Rather than fearing the unfamiliar and the unknown, you are urged to embrace expansion, movement, and change. This is a time to go with the flow and open yourself to opportunities that will improve your quality of life. Anything is possible, and the wheels are set in motion, so be sure to play your part by moving closer to your dreams. You may be called upon to make changes in your mind, your mindset, relationships, residence, lifestyle, or career, wherever a shift is needed to serve your greater good. It is time to broaden your horizons and re-spark your passion for life. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you toward a time of movement and change. Procrastination, resistance, and fear only take you out of alignment, so surrender yourself to the opportunities that are about to present themselves. Trust that you're divinely loved and guided, and you'll be shown the way. Affirmation I accept and surrender to the changes that improve my quality of life. Thanks, you guys, Virgo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. 
and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.